Hello students, uh, today we are going to study expectorants. Uh, so let's first define expectorants. Expectorants are the agents that aid in clearing respiratory tract secretions from lungs, uh, bronchi and trachea. Now respiratory tract secretions are also termed as phlegm. Now look at this diagram. Uh, this diagram shows transverse section of a respiratory tube. Uh, this diagram shows uh, structure of the wall of the respiratory tube. The outermost layer is termed as adventitia. Below adventitia is present a layer of smooth muscle cells. And below the smooth muscle cells are present uh, submucosa. The innermost lining uh, or the mucosa is made up of uh, ciliated columnar epithelial cells. And in between these ciliated columnar epithelial cells are present uh, green color uh, goblet cells. Uh, goblet cells are here shown in the green color and in the submucosa are present the submucosal glands. Uh, so these goblet cells and the submucosal glands uh, they produce mucus. Mucus is shown here in the green color. Now in the center is the lumen that is the air passage that is the passage meant for the flow of air. Now this mucosa which is made up of ciliated columnar epithelial cells. So mucosa of respiratory tube is covered by a protective mucus gel uh, which is shown here in the green color. Now this mucus it protects the wall of respiratory tubes from irritants like smoke, pollutants, dust particles, bacteria, infections etc. Now these irritants they are trapped in the mucus and then they are cuffed out. Now cilia, uh, the cilia uh, hair like structure, so cilia of ciliated columnar epithelial cells pushes mucus towards the pharynx so that it could be easily removed. Uh, so uh, during the cold or uh, during the respiratory infection, this mucosa that is the innermost lining uh, of the lungs, it becomes inflamed. And because of the inflammation, it produces excess uh, phlegm. There is excessive secretion of mucus by the goblet cells and the submucosal cells and therefore there is excess phlegm. And this excess phlegm or the mucus, it produces blockage of the lumen of uh, respiratory tubes, throat and nose leading to uh, difficulty in breathing. And uh, uh, therefore, uh, during these conditions, a productive cuff or a wet cuff is produced because of the uh, excess secretion by the goblet cells and by the submucosal cells. So, uh, an expectorant aids in cuffing out uh, phlegm from the respiratory tract. And thus, uh, these expectorants are used in the treatment of wet cuffs uh, due to cold and infection. Uh, now let's uh, understand the uh, mechanism of action of expectorants. Expectorants increase the volume and decrease the viscosity of respiratory secretions. Uh, that is expectorants liquefy and loosen the tough or the tenacious phlegm which remains adhered to the respiratory tubes and thus uh, finds it uh, it's difficult to be removed out uh, on its own. Now, uh, due to liquefaction, uh, these respiratory secretions are easily removed from the respiratory uh, tract uh, by the cilia as well as uh, by the process of cuffing. Uh, now, uh, let's talk about the uh, key expectorant that is the uh, goifenesin. Uh, goifenesin is a commonly used uh, expectorant. Uh, it increases airway water and thus uh, causes hydration of respiratory secretions. Uh, that is, it increases the water content of respiratory secretions or we can say it hydrates the respiratory secretions and uh, thereby it increases volume of phlegm. Uh, it reduces the viscosity of phlegm and thus uh, removal of phlegm is facilitated by ciliary movement and also by cuffing. And thus it increases the uh, efficacy of cuff reflex. And it helps in easy removal of uh, respiratory secretions that block the respiratory tubes or the respiratory passages. Now it is available as oral pill or uh, as a syrup. And it is available either alone or in combination with the drugs like uh, dextromethorphan, paracetamol, aphedrine, pseudoaphedrine. 
and uh, side effects of uh, goifenesin are nausea, vomiting, uh, then formation of uh, kidney stones, diarrhea, constipation. Now nausea and vomiting are reduced by taking uh, goifenesin along with food. Uh, whereas formation of kidney stones uh, can be prevented by drinking water and keeping the body hydrated. Now rarely severe allergic reactions uh, can also occur. So uh, this is in brief on pharmacology of uh, expectorants. Uh, please note that this uh, video is meant only for educational purpose. And if you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.